Right, Nikita nut gun. That's where they generally come on now. The Makita ones, half inch drive nut, nut guns. Ramp pack wrench. That's the level of use you get with the Makitas before they start giving you bother. Can't even make out the year. 2017 maybe. Does it even work? Motor works anyway. Sound's gone inside. Here's the problem. Sheared the motor. Oh, sheared the gear off the armature. Or the rotor. You can get onto that as well. <laughs> this is the important bit with the Makita. That's what sets them aside. See the amount of play in that. That's not play. It's a separate housing. That is there only to hold your battery. With rubber bushings to pack them out. That takes the. As that thing's rattling around, this takes the rattle. So the battery is held tightly on the holder. It takes the vibrations out of the battery. So it doesn't burn out the contacts on the battery. So these wee battery retainers, these wee pins, that slide the battery in, that go into the battery. That's so that they don't burn out. It's like the Milwaukee in that. Plus we've got metal plates, so the battery doesn't come loose. And rubber bushings and rollers to help keep it nice and snug. That's why the Makita has the age to me. It doesn't have the age in power, mind you. The Milwaukee still has more power than it. But they're more bulk to last. Plus your switch. Separate. So you can replace that on its own. <coughs> and your rotor is separate. So I can replace that without changing the whole electronics and field. So, see if we can have one of these now. Stick into this thing. I also need to get the gear head out of this. So, as you can see, same as them all. Not a lot of grease on the side. They don't require that much. Four rollers, three rollers, sorry, pans. Hold on them gears. I'll just wash this out just in case you leave bits of metal on it. That's the end of the rotor. I need that. Give these parts a wash out just in case there's any bits of metal stuck to them. That can do damage to the new one. On your armature. Now rebuild this hammer. No grease. Generally, as very little grease can under these, genuinely. Pump in too much, it'll just all come back through the motor section.
even on the working metal bits. That is about the height of what you need. That bit. Little roller sits on that pin. Rubber sits on there. Trust them. Good enough job. Spot on. I'll run for another way longer.